Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shardong Stubborn, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News from Update where today SNS Sansei Technologies have revealed a brand new ride concept and I'm also going to be sharing three theme parks in the UK where I think this concept is going but first of all we need to talk about the concept. Now this is the Spin Drop Tower concept, this is the Spin, spin Drop Ride I think it's called. Um, so we've got a video on this, we have some pictures and we're sharing an official description from the SNS website and then share with you three UK theme parks where I think this could go because I think this is a very exciting concept. Uh, so before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click OK so you never miss another YouTube video. As we record this, we're getting closer and closer to 1,900 and getting even that further step to 2,000 subscribers. And uh, we're almost off half a million views as well, so keep viewing the old videos and keep getting those view counts up and up and up. And also guys, make sure you stay tuned because potentially we do have a Halloween trip coming up on the Saturday. So. Knowing me, I'll probably release uh, what we do always with these trips, which is a trip preview. Um, so we'll probably release that on Friday, uh, once it's been confirmed and everything. And then we'll be heading out there, doing the vlog, uh, doing the walkthroughs of the mazes, hopefully. And uh, do a review of the trip on Sunday. So that'll all be coming out over the period of three days, once it goes ahead. And uh, for now, guys, let's talk about this SNS new concept attraction. So let's read the official description from SNS first. And by the way, all the pictures and videos on your screen during this description and talking about this ride uh, all come from SNS themselves. So massive shout out to them. So officially from the website of SNS Sansei Technologies, the Spin Shot Tower is the name of the concept. And um, it officially says on the website, the Spin Shot Tower is the newest attraction from global attractions leader SNS Sansei Technologies. SNS patented rotating technology can now be retrofit in our world famous tower rides. The Spin Shot rotates 360 degrees and gives your guests a new level of thrills and excitement. Customised ride profiles allows you to offer your guests an infinite number of unique thrills including face up, face down and inverted drops and launches. So this is a very exciting concept, so basically this will go up and it's got the free spin type rotating seat variation on the classic shot tower. Uh, it could go up, it could go down, inverted drops and of course the launches. So this is not just shot towers, it is just normal towers as well. So this could be, it's kind of like RMC with um, sort of hybrid conversions of wooden roller coasters. This is the spinning 360 degree seating hybrid conversion of classic shot towers and drop towers from SNS. So I think they're going down the RMC drop towers route here with this one. Now I said I was going to share with you three predicted UK theme parks. I could see this being added to. I'm going to share with them with you right now. So prediction number one is Ice Blast at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Now Ice Blast, if you didn't know already, it opened at the park as Sony PlayStation The Ride in 1997. Um, of course, it was featured in that one episode uh, of the Pleasure Beach documentary from the old UK Horizons channel, if you remember that one. And, um, you know, SNS Shot Tower, a space shot specifically, 180 feet, 60 meter drop, 80 miles per hour, 4.5 Gs, um, 2 million pounds is a lot of money for a drop tower. Um, and, you know, it's definitely great. It's definitely a uh, a great you know experience and you know second tallest drop tower in the world after the volcano at Fantasy Island, but it is the fastest drop tower in the world. And you know Blackpool Pleasure Beach could definitely do with renovating this. They've renovated old attractions in the past. They've renovated parts of the Ghost Train in the past, uh, indoor and outdoor, with little things here and there. Uh, they're renovating Valhalla, they're refurbishing it for 2021, I can't wait to see what happens inside of there. A lot of work going on there. And, you know, I think Ice Pass could be the next ride to get some kind of major refurbishment or renovation. And I think that putting these spinning seats on could really renovate the ride. And I think this new concept, if you link it to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, could definitely open the debate. Do you remove Ice Blast in a few years time permanently? Or do you just renovate it with the brand new concept? So, would you hybridize the Ice Blast into a brand new spinning shot drop? Uh, so, you know, I think it's definitely open for debate what happens with Ice Blast in the future now. Uh, especially with this brand new concept, but I think it could go either way. The second part I could see this add to is a Flamingo Land in Moulton, North Yorkshire. Now, the reason why I say this is because there's one particular SNS tower, and you know what it is by now. 
uh, that's sitting in that part waiting for something to happen to it. And that, in my opinion, is, of course, Cliffhanger, which opened back in 2002. Now, this is the first and tallest SNS combo tower in the UK. So it has some history to it. And of course, 2002, same year as the Rides Like Air at Alton Towers, which is now Galactica, as of 2016 and beyond. And, um, you know, Cliffhanger, obviously there was rumours, you know, would that be relocated to the Scarborough Park? And there's talk now it isn't. So, if you're going to renovate Cliffhanger while it's still here, could you bring in the spinning seat? And, like I said, face up, face down, inverted drops and inverted launches. So, it's not just the shop towers, it's the drop towers as well. And with this one, this is another launch tower, so I think that, imagine if you had um, the inverted launches, imagine if you got this, give this ride a brand new theme, and you sort of tilt it like you're, like theme it to a seaside bird or something, like a seagull or something, and you sort of get tilted in a flying position, ready to launch up into the sky, and fly like one of those seaside seagulls, since it's on the seaside kind of area. Uh, so... You know, I definitely think the Cliffhanger could get this renovation. I think it would be a welcome renovation for a park that's definitely entering a brand new era when it opens the Tan Looping Coaster next year. I spoke about how Cliffhanger opened in 2002, the same year as Air, the original era at Alton Towers. Speaking of Alton Towers, I think I could see this replace Ripsaw. Now, the reason why I say it could replace Ripsaw is because I think that, you know, look at the Ramesses Revenge at Chessington, look at what, what they've done. Uh, with that particular attraction, you look what they've done with, with that, replacing that with a new drop tower, codename Croc Drop, or uh, trademark name Croc Drop at Chessington. So, I think looking at Ramesses Revenge being replaced by a drop tower, I think the same could be said for the Ripsaw site. And I think if you dig down far enough, you could get a decent height on this. Now, I don't think it would be the tallest drop tower in the world, or the tallest in the UK. But I think they could break the, the, the speed record. I think they could definitely make the speed record. Uh, they could make it the tallest drop tower in the UK if they wanted to, if they dig down far enough. Because I think the the remit for Alton Towers in terms of constructing new rides, of course, yeah, they're in a conservation area, tree high. Saw it in a, in a Blue Peter exclusive behind the scenes when they were building Smiler back in 2013. That, you know, Terry, one of the, one of the main designers at the park, said, uh, you know, they're, they're in a conservation area. So basically, the... the um, solution was if they wanted a really tall ride they just dig deeper into the ground and build this pit um, so I think with Ripsaw and with the rides around it I reckon you could take all of that out and you could put in this brand new drop tower experience uh, from scratch and I think out of the three options I think it would be the first one in the UK from scratch so I think two renovations and a brand new one from scratch wouldn't be a bad choice so there we go, everybody. That is my three UK theme park choices. If you've got any other theme park choices from the UK or if you've got any non-UK choices where you could see this going, then put it in the comments down below. I might do a question on the community post and I might write to your comments on this. But it should be interesting to see what you guys think about this. But for now, thank you very, very much for watching this video. Stay tuned for another news update from Six Flags Magic Mountain and a next five years video from Six Flags Great Adventure. Stay tuned for that. And uh, for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell, Kill on the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.